Hey, what is going on? I'm going to be going over in this tutorial some of the basics of using uh, the C panel, um, which is a basically a, a domain management tool. You can use it to manage your domains. Uh, here you can see that I use HostGator for my hosting. Um, this is just a shared hosting account. I'll go over what that means in a future tutorial. But this is a shared hosting account through HostGator. Um, paying less than uh, fifteen dollars a month, uh, less than, yeah, less than that uh, for my hosting, and I can host unlimited sites, unlimited emails, unlimited bandwidth, all that good stuff through them. I definitely condone using HostGator. They're uh, they have tremendous tremendous customer support, and they use cPanel by default, so they don't have like some funky back office thing that you got to get used to. Um, I definitely condone using them. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of cPanel. Uh, in case you were wondering where you can get some host gator for yourself, you can come to our website, which is freewebdesigntutorials.info, and you'll see right down here at the banner, there's a, or right down here at the bottom, there's a little banner here that um, is, will give you the first month for a penny. So that'll give you a month at a penny just to try the services, and after that it's like five bucks or seven dollars um, if you want to get an upgraded one. So I definitely condone going to our website and using that link for a penny so you can get started. I definitely, definitely condone that. Back to the C panel. Now the first thing you notice when you come to the C panel is you see a little button here which is home that's your safety in case you get lost anywhere in the cPanel I'm pretty sure this is everywhere but we'll see as we're clicking through stuff and I'm just showing you what HostGator is offering you now if you have another web hosting company you might not have all of these uh, guys here in the middle some of these are stuff is stuff that they add like you see HostGator link specifically um, alright now you can also use the find tool if there's anything that you know you're looking for you can use the find function and that'll help HostGator allows you to register your domains with them so you can not only host but you can also register a domain with them um, you can also transfer a domain which means you're transferring a domain maybe that you bought somewhere else like GoDaddy which is a great place to buy domains from or um, there's quite a few places you can buy domains from so you buy them somewhere else you can transfer them for use with your host gator account and I'll explain uh, some of the differences in that in a future tutorial you also have the look up a domain button which is under who is and this is very useful if you are doing research for on a particular website you want to know who owns it etc etc you can go right in here and let's just put in um, one that I was I used to use a while ago. Huh? Uh, okay, running a who is, and here's what that looks like. It's just going to give you the basic information um, about that particular um, company who runs it, all that good stuff. Also, too, something that you're going to want to know is that yours might look slightly different than mine because you can change and drag and drop these individual uh, sections here to fit your own personal needs well very important to note that here's your little announcements from time to time they run specials uh, host gator when you register uh, to get hosting through them they give you a free one hundred dollar uh, adword credit which comes in handy and when we do our SEM tutorial on search engine marketing uh, we're gonna go over how to pick AdWords and that's gonna be a lot of fun um, down here we also see a little mobile thing they're advertising a website builder this is very cool we'll probably do a tutorial just on this if you want to get your site up very quickly you can use this here they have other web building tools over here um, parallel site builder another site builder trendy site builder that was really cool let me show you that real quick 
this actually creates a flat okay they do it through quick install that's another tutorial by itself but it's actually a flash um, type website that you can create and it makes really nice looking uh, web pages very quickly but you will have to pay I believe for an upgraded version of that but um, we'll check that out when I do the tutorial on that um, yes they do also offer VoIP $99 per year through host gator they got that and you can also get a um, 1-800 number if you get the f top package 1495 I think it is they give you a 1-800 number with that but you just have to pay for minutes just keep in mind they have a little referral program there uh, website traffic now here's something that you're definitely gonna wanna look at pretty often you wanna know how many like this is as view all traffic that'll take you to let's see where okay right here now this here is just a short look at all the different domains that I have and we'll just click on the one for our, our web project I'm working on now where is it tutorials yeah okay we'll click on that and that'll take me to this page which tells me everything how many hits I've had in the last it looks like the whole month I guess the period reporting is the month of September 2012 and how many unique visitors how many hits which is different than unique visitors we'll go over that stuff with um, uh, in a future tutorial oh, sorry about that so all the different pages that were hit and this is all data on your sites so I'm gonna teach you how to analyze this data um, and make the best use of it make the best use of it um, statistics are great and it shows you everything that you're gonna wanna know about your site or most of it so here's one thing that the cPanel is offering you whoops did I oh no here it is okay so let's go back to our home remember our home thing is right there you can also log out over here if you need help you can click here now my top level now I think we went all the way did we go to the bottom no we did not sorry about that next is backup status um, alright you're gonna wanna run backups on your site every so often now a backup is basically when um, they're gonna send you they're gonna email you a backup of your web page and all of your websites that maybe that you're hosting to an email address if that's what you want or they can store it on the server I prefer to have mine sent to me so that I can have it um, in the event that say I want to take my hosting elsewhere it's just as simple as unzipping a package and I'm good to go with my latest updated version of my website so you are definitely gonna wanna set up as you can see here I have mine being sent to my email and they always notify me that's another setting that they did it and if backups ran now this is how much space um, I would be taking up I'm good to go now this tells you now next under that is the statistics box and this tells you um, what your what you have left in your hosting package that's basically what it's looking at now this is showing that the main domain I guess here is lawn care CEO and we have some add-on domains and as you can see here hostgator is allowing me to have unlimited uh, hosting accounts if you paid for unlimited and it says one of one then you need to call up your hosting company okay now subdomains which we'll get into what those are um, also unlimited also unlimited park domains now a parked domain is oh sorry about that a park domain is different than a um, a subdomain or an add-on domain an add-on domain would be say let's say that you have a web project and we're gonna call it frenchfries.com so you bought frenchfries.com either from hostgator or from godaddy now what you need to do is you have to enable that particular domain to be viewed in your um, on through this hosting company now what a hosting company actually does is they have software and servers they have server software set up 
so that you can upload your HTML documents or whatever. We talked about that in an earlier tutorial for viewing on the web at that particular domain. And we're going to get into how that domain is um, run on the Internet, like what, what makes up that domain, etc., etc. And as you can see here, the CPU usage... Um, last login this is an IP address IPv4 uh, IP address here we have processes that are running snapshot of the number of processes being ran from an individual account that's pretty important to look at because you don't want to have hundreds of processes running that you're not sure about why and as it says it'll cause this thing to freeze up and have problems running on your hard drive Another good way to find out that you have some type of virus or something that's been uploaded to your site or even on your computer is finding out how many processes are running. So that's why this is an important uh, factor when you're doing um, um, blah, 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 when you're doing your hosting. You want to keep a track of that, but they do that for you. That's what you're paying for too. They'll let you know if there's something wrong. CPU usage. This is telling you how much of the memory you're using down here. Disk usage. Now, um, in another tutorial, which you can find on our website, going in, we're talking about hosting. It's on the other stuff. Hosting sites. And you'll find information that talks about storage on your hard drive. Okay. And that'll help. That tutorial will help you understand what your disk usage is. And also, too, your monthly transfer, which is about bandwidth. And um, that's very important to know. HostGator does allow you to have unlimited bandwidth. But um, like I said, go to the website and look up the tutorial on that. Email accounts. When we set up an email account for the domain, I'll show you about that. But you can keep track of all of that here. FTP accounts. FTP is File Transfer Protocol and that's what enables you it's a software that enables you to transfer computers or excuse me to transfer data from your computer to the server this is showing how many different accounts we have set up to um, transfer data from our computer to the server which is called a remote server because it's not um, the one that we're working on it's a remote one a different one. Uh, the next one is SQL databases this says we have 10 set up. I'm just going to trust them. Um, this is nodes. Um, we'll get into nodes. Basically, anytime a file is created, it creates a node. This down here is your account information. And very important that you take a look at this. This will tell you what package you're at currently with HostGator or whoever. And, of course, based on that, you can go to the top. Go back to the home page and find out whatever else you need to know about like what package you can upgrade or downgrade to if you need to here is your unique IP address very important piece of information right there now if I wanted to let me show you this when you put in a URL okay we got blog right here right so if I wanted to I could just paste that URL in and watch where it takes me wait hold on 404 why is it taking me there it should take me Okay, I may not be I may not be paying for that. I don't wonder why it's like taking me give me a 404. All right, now this IP address should take you to your web page. I got to figure out why that's not doing it there. I don't have time in this tutorial to go over that. The server name and the name servers. Now, when you registered your domain, you're going to need the to pull these name servers. So, like let's say you bought hosting through GoDaddy or excuse me you bought a website blah, 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 a web domain through GoDaddy which enables you to use a particular IP address in order for your website to be found now you need to allow them to say okay here's who he's hosting his website with we just own the domain so you can host in a different place than you bought your domain these name savers are the information that you need to put in there at your um, domain where you purchased your domain so that your website can be viewed at this hosting spot okay I'll explain more of that this is just an overview 
of uh, the C panel and where stuff is, how it works, etc. Um, here is your home directory. If you're setting up an FTP account so you can transfer data to your server, you need to know where the data is supposed to go. Um, just doing a forward slash may not do it. For us, it's saying we need to go home, or excuse me, forward slash home, forward slash bullseye. Now, that could be why it didn't take me where I need to go, but I don't have time to deal with that. Operating system. This is telling us that we have a Linux uh, operating system, Scent, whatever Scent stands for. Okay, so we're using Linux. Now, there's two basic ones that you would be using for your hosting. You have Linux, and then you have um, Windows-based. Windows, Microsoft, it's either Windows or Microsoft, I forget which one they go by, but Windows base and Linux base. Linux base is always open source. Windows is usually something you're going to have to pay for. So, um, because Windows wants everything paid for, that's basically why. Linux is open source. Um, there's a lot of options for Linux, there's a lot of options for Microsoft, and there's a lot of benefits to using a Microsoft server. Um, as opposed to a Linux server and vice versa. So it's a give and take between the two. Um, I do prefer using the Linux server um, for my stuff. I don't use a lot of Microsoft with my projects, but that's one of the cool things about that. So instead of going all the way up to the top, we'll start right here. Here's your SEO and marketing tools. You can use this stuff. One click sitemap will create a sitemap for your uh, website. Your SEO tools, we'll talk about how to use these. Google website services, get in Google. I'm assuming this will take you to Google search uh, engine. What is that? What is this? Go to my account. Oh, okay, I see. this. They're going to actually submit it for you. So that's cool. I didn't realize they did that. Um, let's move up here. More advanced stuff. This is advanced stuff. Typically, you're not going to have to worry about this advanced stuff. If you do, you can get help at the little question mark up here or live support. Their live support is off the chains. You can get all the information that you need. They really do go above and beyond at HostGator. And I'm, I'm not like just pumping them up. I've been around the block. I've tried at least 15 different hosting companies. And each time, even though HostGator might have pissed me off why I left, um, every single time I end up coming back here, and, and now it's just it's just my home now. I live here. But anyway, next is security. All right, password protected directories. We'll go into that. IP deny manager. Um, we'll get into that a little bit. Hot link protection, GNU. Uh, PG keys this is all advanced stuff I would push this as far to the bottom as you can because you probably won't need that stuff um, the stuff you're mainly gonna want to use is right here let me show you the ones you're gonna use preferences ah over here there's a getting starting was getting started wizard which can also help you if my tutorial sucked um, here's also some video tutorials that they offer if I was you, I'd slide this stuff up to the top so you can see it. And um, what else? Update your contact info. Now, your contact info is okay. That's just what they use. We'll get that. We'll get into that when you buy um, when I do the hosting portion. So we moved our preferences up, and it looks like they won't let me put the preferences above the um, other stuff. So that's pretty funny. I went and came back, and it's there now let's go back down and databases you're gonna use this a lot a lot if you unless you're just gonna use strictly if you're building your site from scratch you'll probably use this databases a lot I would move that to the top setting up an email account we'll do that probably in the next tutorial so I can show you the difference between an email account and how to set up forwarders etc etc I'll probably do that in another tutorial in the next one this is your file manager very important this is where all the files to your website are like basically your root folder and we'll get into what a root folder is when we do file management um, but when you build a website remember that you're actually uploading a folder full of files much like this guy well you can't see him but um much like this guy 
let me open up a tab and I'll show you what it looks like you're gonna upload something like this to your site now this is the practice one that we built it's on the web page you can grab this but as you can see here you're gonna be uploading this now this is what's gonna display the index.html that's the first page but we'll get into that later but remember that your file manager this is where all the files are contained for that particular domain that you're looking at and that, let's take a quick look at that um, and you click on that and you can go in we'll just look at that no problem and just a quick look at where everything is at now when you come here you see all of this stuff over here on the left none of this stuff really means much to you the one you're really interested in is right here where it says public underscore HTML now there's two folders is that one and then there's this www one some companies use this one some companies use the public underscore HTML this is the one we use here and here you see inside of this folder public underscore HTML you see all these other folders inside now, as you can see up here see that little that means home home is the root address for the actual um, where the pages are being hosted and then you see here public underscore HTML forward slash tutorials that's telling me that that is where all the information contained for um, for the blog are located is in that tutorials folder so let's find that folder by going through public underscore HTML and then where is it tutorial see they got to highlight it and over here to the right you'll see that it was already populated I was just showing you that menu bar for sport and you can see all the files that are associated much like the one I showed you before much like this one you see all the files that are associated there and then you can see it's the same deal here so these are all the files associated with that um, tutorials and of course inside of there there's more files on top of files and to get the content from those files you just click on it and then it'll populate to the right I just thought I'd show you that real quick in case you were stumped on that alright so moving right along I hope we're not going over on time here's also your FTP setups they're right here in the files tab like I said I will push this up to the top as cool as far as you can get it and let's move back down so we did databases um, th the version that I have they have the MySQL databases we'll be going over that and how to use PHP admin which is over here in databases here's your mail software and services now when you're looking for uh, a hosting company one of the things you want to look for are freebies lots of freebies and with HostGator they give you as you can see here um, software and services this is Ruby on Rails that works with the Ruby framework it's like a Ruby framework Ruby gems which is code from Ruby uh, we have Perl modules over here pair is available to you you can configure your PHP dot INI file right there um, optimize your website that's a cool one you can go there we'll do that later uh, base kit site builder that's actually this guy over here it's just a link here the CGI Center 2 let's go in there just to show you what that kind of stuff is this is just a place where you can create some some st default stuff for your web page so these are just some little scripts CGI they're already pre-installed so they're ready for you to use um, and you can use that stuff we'll go over all of this we really will and let's see now these are the two big guys that I wanted to talk about the quick install remember when we clicked was it here trendy trendy site builder and it took us here to the quick install this allows you to install custom scripts onto your uh, web page and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a future tutorial but over here you see all these options and these are platforms pre-built already um, put together for you you don't have to build your website from scratch and I'm gonna talk about that more and more as the weeks go by you do not have to do it from scratch in fact if you're doing it from scratch and it's your first time out 
and you're watching a tutorial like this you don't even know how to manage your C panel you're gonna overwhelm yourself using a CMS or content management system like Drupal is a really good one um, it's a little bit complex for a beginner uh, Joomla is really simple live site is it's okay it's all right and uh, but the main one that I focus on is WordPress now our blog was built in WordPress but um, and I'm gonna go over WordPress in detail so be ready for my WordPress series it's gonna be hot let's see what else we got we have forums if you're not sure what a forum is versus a blog we'll go over that stuff and look at all this software we got e-commerce software over here so if you're trying to build an e-commerce site from scratch I mean you're just wasting your time this stuff is free it's there for you to use use it this is quick install which installs it right on right in that folder that we just uh, we just looked at basically you click here it installs it in the folder and there's a quick setup process with that alright we just click back on the browser let's go where is that where did I just get that okay and then you have Fantastico Fantastico is the one that most um, servers you'll find they use Fantastico and it's pretty much the same deal same exact deal click here do a little bit of setup over here it's on your server it's ready for you to use and configure last few things here domains subdomains add-on domains park domains all right subdomains occur all right here's let's go to I'm gonna show you something here's the site that I'm working on for us to do uh, tutorials through and I'm building it one step at a time I'm, I'm more concerned with getting the content out but I'm on free free web design and then I have to go index.php to get to that what the heck oh that's test my bad my bad now as you can see up here in the top you see what they call a full URL now in this URL um, you see my root domain which is right here free web design tutorials info and then we're headed to a folder in that folder which is basically no, I'm sorry this is no folder this is the uh, root page so in the root we have index.php and this is telling this the um, user agent here that we're looking for something on the World Wide Web before this is the protocol which is HTTP which is the protocol that transfers data from a server to the internet from computer to computer makes it available now if we click on that directly you'll see a different website will pop up this is the one I'm working on for us um, don't judge me I'm still working on it in fact I'm barely working on it. I kinda just kinda scrapped this because it was taking me too long to do to work on some of the backs in stuff but um, as you can see up here is a full URL okay www now we're gonna go to our site which is you see I can just take that off bam and you see that www change it's now blog see how I say that blog dot free web design tutorials info that's a different address that blog portion is saying that this is a different individual site this is the blog this is blog. It's not free web design tutorials info. Free web design tutorials info was the site we just looked at. Now we're in a what they call a subdomain of free web, which is blog. Okay? That's what this is. So when you initially get your website, you're gonna need to add it on to this um, domain for management. Add-on is different than park. When you park a domain then um, basically you're just putting it here and you're not going to be using that domain maybe you'll use it to forward like I'll show you real quick like you're gonna just create a parked domain so you bought a domain and you're like yeah I really like this domain but like for instance let's say GoDaddy got you you bought like 10 different domains 
um, for the same one. So you bought apex7web.com.info.net, .blah, .who, .what, right? So you bought all those freaking domains. Well, they're not all going to be different sites. So what you would do is you would park those domains on your server, and then you would just use this software to redirect them to the one that you want to keep, which would be like Apex, like you can see here. Apex7.com actually redirects to Apex7.net, and you can manage all of that. So we'll go over that in a future tutorial as well. But all of that is under the domains section of your site I would pull that up to the top as well closer to the top as well um, you might use that a lot um, I'll put that up too and let me make sure I've gone over everything before I say goodbye and log off after my very long winded explanation ah the logs okay now we didn't go over the logs I wanna go over that your logs is where you get all that analytical data now we clicked over here and we got some of it but your logs contains all that extra stuff these are all different programs for looking into your analytics on your site and I'm gonna show you how to do that how to read that stuff because it can look like gibberish but it ain't gibberish let's see is there anything else that we need to go over oh yeah hostgators links billing system if you have to pay your bill and you do not know where to go to pay your bill, you can click here. You, the billing system is separate from the C panel. So you're not going to find anywhere on the C panel to pay your bill except for this link. So you can go there to pay your bill. This is domain management. Um, this is where you go to manage your domain, obviously. This is really about purchasing and um, adding, like paying for new domains not old ones account add-ons not sure where that goes never really used it but it's there the support portal this will take you here which is where you have all these wonderful tutorials on cpanel and plesk um, those are two really good ones and look site builder all this stuff is here wordpress hmm, let's see what they have on wordpress look at that they only got up to 2.7 wordpress is already up to 3.4 what is it 3.4.2 or something something like yeah 342 so it's a little bit outdated but it's there for you to use and as I said right next to that live chat support so you can always find somebody um, to chat with about your problems you can always hit me up in the inbox as well I do my best to answer all of your questions um, here we also have website templates which I didn't mention they have a lot of templates that you can just download all of this junk for your own personal use how hot is that so like if you have a company and you're like hey I want a website that looks nice and I don't want to listen to this guy talk for freaking two hours to learn how to do that so you can just download it see that you click download and then there's two versions the flash and the non flash version of it you'll want to work with the non flash and I'll even show you how to edit one of these templates um, because I'm that nice of a guy all of that's gonna be on the blog do not forget to subscribe so that you can uh, let's see what they got let's see what they got yeah some nice stuff I could see I could have used one of these to build my site why because I pay for it and um, if you're paying for that stuff through your hosting use it don't go out before you go out and spend five six hundred dollars a thousand dollars some people are paying five to ten thousand dollars for your site spend a little bit of time if you're a business owner learn a little bit about this stuff and I guarantee you I can walk you through these steps and um, there's plenty of open source help for you to build your website and get stuff done alright uh, thanks for viewing this once again was an overview of the cPanel what it is how it works where some of the links are in hostgator as i said you can click on that little question mark help and if you're having trouble hostgator will be right there by your side um, these here are all external things actually you can get uh, accept credit cards and stuff like that today you really could technically do that if you need it to accept credit cards um, i'll be doing a tutorial on paypal which is my I like PayPal. Some people don't. I do. 
uh, what is this protect your website from hackers yeah so you can pay to have your site basically locked down and they'll go through and do uh, periodic safety checks and on your site this is other outside uh, templates now this one you, these are all offers that you have to pay for but um, some of them are worth it you can buy another template you don't have to use the ones that are here you could buy a template from these guys and they have some really really nice templates and I think you can pay like a flat fee and use all of their templates and um, CSS templates I'm gonna show you all of this stuff I'm such a nice guy subscribe to my channel thanks for viewing and um, the next tutorial I hope I'll try and break the tutorials up so they're not this long anymore because it takes me way too long to upload them thanks for viewing have a great day